How's it going everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mountain ATVMC and today we are showing you the Highland X2 Rackless Luggage System from Tusk. All right everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we are showing you the Highland X2 Rackless Luggage System from Tusk. This setup is ideal for the riders that don't have or don't want to get pannier racks on their motorcycle, but you're still looking to get enough storage capacity for a multi-day ride. So this is ideal for that type of setup. It's awesome for any type of adventure or touring riding. And another area where this rackless system really shines and its specialty is for more aggressive off-road adventure riding. And the reason that we say that is that because when you have this installed, it does a good job of just keeping the weight more centralized and closer to the motorcycle versus pannier racks that sit out a little bit farther. So when you're standing up and you're working hard on the bike, you want that weight centralized, you want it closer to the middle of the motorcycle, just to help the motorcycle handle better when you do have it loaded up with luggage. So that is one aspect about this that we really do like. Now, as far as what bikes this will fit on, it's really universal fitment. It's gonna fit on a lot of different motorcycles. We've got it today on this Husqvarna 701. We've had it on a Honda 450L. We've had the 501, the 690s, all the way up to your big bikes, like the 1190s, Africa Twin, or a Yamaha Tenere. So it works on a very wide range of motorcycles. Now, I also wanna point out that this is the second generation of the Highland Rackless series. So we took a lot of really, really good customer feedback as well as our own experience from our own adventure rides and we use that just to make some improvements and make this setup even better. So we'll talk about those improvements as we go through. Then we just wanna talk about the construction. We'll talk about the storage capacity of the different configurations that are possible because there's actually a lot of different options when you're buying yours. And then lastly, we're gonna talk about installation and how you get these bad boys mounted up. Now, as far as the construction on these bags go, that has remained the same with the new generation. That was really important to us while designing these. We did thousands of miles on these bags. We loaded these up over capacity and we put these things through the ringer. And we're very happy to say that these things are built incredibly strong. You've got a 25-20 denier polyester fabric. You've got TPU on here, Duraflex buckles. You've got some reflectivity, like this logo that is built in it for some added safety. So the durability on these has been awesome. They're a roll top closure bag. You do have the 25 liter dry bags will also come included, which we'll talk some of the benefits about that here in just a moment. So built very, very well. Now, let's talk about storage capacity. So with this setup, so there's actually a couple different configurations that you can choose from when you're picking up your Highland X2s. So the setup that we have right now, you've got your side bags that will always be there. Those are 25 liters each. That gives you 50 liters total. But we've got the small duffel bag. And then if you buy the setup that comes with the small duffel bag, you will have this tent pole bag that will come included. But with the small duffel bag and the accessory bag that we have one on each side, these are about four liters each, this puts you up around 80 liters of storage capacity. Now, if you wanna go one step further and you want even more storage, what you can do is you can buy this, but you can get the medium duffel bag which is actually 33 liters of storage, which puts you north of 90 liters. So there's a few different options depending on how much storage capacity that you're looking for. I also do wanna point out that no matter what setup you go with, that these accessory bags or large bottle bags, these are gonna be attached using molly sticks. These are optional regardless of what setup that you decide to go with, but Right now, with this setup, we've got just one of these on each side on the back. If you wanted to get more of these accessory bags, we sell these separately, you could get two of these and put these actually on the front as well to maximize even more storage. And if you buy your setup without the accessory bags initially, don't worry, you can buy those again separately after the fact and add those to this if you do want to. So again, a lot of storage capacity with the different options. Both the duffel bags are roll top closure and they are waterproof bags. Tent pole we already talked about, but also what's a new feature is there's actually this utility bag now that will come included with your X2 rackless system, regardless of what setup you go with. One thing that we kind of learned along the way is it's nice to have a couple of locations like a tank bag, for instance, where you can put smaller items inside there that are easy to access. So what we want to do is we added this utility bag to the back. So you know, your snacks, cell phone, smaller items that you want to keep easily accessible go in here. We also do have a basic first aid kit that fits in here really well, and that's optional. So if you want that basic first aid kit, you could pick that up when you're buying your Rackless setup. So those are your different options as far as storage capacity. Again, you're getting a lot with these. When we've taken these bikes out, we've done multi-day adventure rides. We've done, you know, even up to five, six, seven days. And these bags and this setup gives us enough storage capacity to haul all our gear with us. 
All right, so now let's just go through. We'll show you each one of the bags. We'll show you the roll tops, and then we'll show you how you get these duffel bags put on here. And then lastly, we'll talk about the install process. So like I said, accessory bag, that is roll top closure. These are attached using molly sticks, so very easy to remove those if you're not, not gonna be using those. You also do have these compression straps on the side with the G hooks to get everything nice and snug. Now for your side bags, you've got this strap that comes over the top, which you can use that to cinch everything down. But to open these up, it's simple. You're just gonna undo that buckle. What I like to do is just take this strap and just kind of drape it over the side. Undo my side buckles here. And that will allow this to open up. Now inside here, we've got, again, that 25 liter, they call it the Defender Dry Bag. So again, these will come included with your X2 rackless system. Now one other unique feature, again, taking our experience and what we've heard from customers. So we've added this little loop right here, just so that when you're going to put your items back inside here, your dry bag, it just gives you a spot to pull on to kind of open that back up to make it easier to get that inside there. So we'll load that back up and then we'll show you the tail bag. Now, as far as your tail bags, how these are secured is you've got these two big heavy-duty straps, again, with these Duraflex buckles, and those are actually holding this tail or this flat that you have in the back. So if we undo those, that will just open up, and again, there is that tent pull bag that I mentioned will come with the small duffel. This also, there will be some straps that will come included so you can take this webbing and use that to secure it to that flap in the back. But once you've undone that, you have this center buckle right here, which you would just undo, and that will allow you to simply take that off. And this small duffel bag does have some Velcro on the bottom, just to make it a little bit easier so when you put this on here, it just you know keeps it in place for you while you're cinching everything down. So you do have a cutout in the center for the KTM 690 and the 701, which is very convenient so you don't have to move anything around other than removing your duffel bag to get access to your fuel cap when you're topping off. So that was really important to us. So put this back on real quick. All right, so the last thing that we need to cover now is the install process. And this is actually where a lot of the improvements were made with the new generation of these bags. So when you get yours in your packaging, it's actually going to come disassembled, so you'll put it together. It's a simple process. You'll have your center piece and the two side pieces. You'll put those together using the bolts. Everything will come included. Again, we'll show you how to install those in a separate video, but it's very simple to do. But once you put everything together, here's one of the upgrades that we've done. We've actually made it to where you can change the angle of these side bags, so there's different mounting locations for those bolts just so you can get these to sit at just the right angle when you're getting everything mounted up, just because every bike is a little bit different. So we've changed that, so that was one upgrade. Also what we've done too is we've upgraded the foam underneath here. So now we're just using a thicker foam. And two reasons for that. One, it protects the bags in case you do have any sharp edges. Also protects your motorcycle. So you've got that foam and that foam is replaceable. So if you do need to, if it wears out down the road, you can replace just that foam, put it back on there and you're ready to rock and roll. But what you're gonna do is simple. You're just gonna drape it over the motorcycle. Now we say that this is a rackless system, but we still do recommend a top rack. You don't have to have a top rack, but it is recommended because once you drape this over the motorcycle where you want it, you're gonna have three nylon straps in the back here, and that top rack is what gives you a really good mounting location for those to cinch down those three straps. And then you also have these two straps. You have one on each side up here in the front, and those are just gonna go around, say, a passenger foot peg, go around the frame, the subframe. It's gonna be the best location that you can find depending on your motorcycle. But another aspect I do wanna point out is similar to the upgrade where I talked about how now the bags can actually change the angle. Well, down here with this buckle or this strap, you notice that I can actually move this buckle side to side. So what they're doing now is that there's actually an aluminum puck on the inside that sits inside a sleeve, which allows this buckle to swivel that way, again, same concept, just depending on the bike that you have, it just allows you to get the right angles to get this cinched down as best as possible. So you're gonna take those straps, you're gonna route those through, cinch everything down, and once you've done that, you're ready to go. And another great aspect about having this rackless setup is, 
let's say you're on a motorcycle like a Honda 450L, where you might be doing an adventure ride one week, but then the next re week, you maybe wanna go do some trail riding where you're not gonna need a luggage system. Well, you just got those five straps, you take those off, the whole baggage system comes off, and you're ready for your next ride, and then you just put it back on. So very simple to do. So very versatile in that aspect. But in any case, again, with the new Highland X2 rackless luggage system, again, a ton of storage capacity. We have put these things through the ringer. It's one of our favorite ways to go on all the adventure rides that we do. And if that is something that is appealing to you and what you're after, you've got to check these out and they come in at a great price point. If you do have questions or comments, we'd love to get those answered, so make sure to leave those below. To grab yours today and to see all the different combinations available, just click on the link or head to RockyMountAtVMC.com. As always, orders are $75 ship free, which means these are going to ship free for you. And if you like this product spotlight and if you'd like to see some really cool adventure riding content, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel. Do yourself a favor, hit the notification bell, and that way you always stay up to date. And lastly, this is again the Highland series. There also is the Excursion. So if you like this setup, but maybe you want something a little bit smaller, maybe you're on a little bit smaller motorcycle, be sure to check out the Rackless system, or excuse me, the Excursion Rackless system as well. I am Chase, and we'll see you on the trails.